This is a unboxing video for the Fella Kuti vinyl box set number four. This is on the Knitting Factory Records label and this is limited to 3,000 worldwide. So I'd definitely snap this up before it sells out. The other three box sets in this series, now long sold out, go for over 200 pounds. The seven albums here have been chosen by Erica Badu. All the albums have been lovingly remastered from the original recordings and the album artwork is recreated from the original 70s LPs. The 12 page booklet has essays on each LP by Badu and Chris May, an Afrobeat expert. Erica Badu offers a personal reflection on what the music means to her and how it played a part in her personal and musical and political development. Chris May's essays give details about each record, what inspired it, the background information of what was happening in Fella's life, and how the music is inspired by and comments on Fella's political viewpoint and his struggles with the corrupt Nigerian government and the army. Now on to the records themselves. The first one, Yellow Fever from 1976. Artwork by Lemi Kariokwu. The B-side, Napoi 75. I first heard Napoi on a tinny iPhone speaker and it just blew me away. The unremitting groove, the rawness of the energy, Kuti stabs of lo-fi keyboard, such a fantastic track. Next, from 1977, is the brilliant No Agreement. This is Afrobeat in full force. Fela Kuti's lyrics attacking political corruption, post-colonialism, and the music full-on funky Afrobeat. Visually, it's such a brilliant album cover. It's so good to see Garyoku's full-size artwork. Next, also from 1977, is JJD, Johnny Just Drop. This is recorded live at Fela Kuti's commune, the Kalakuta Republic. Next is VIP, Vagabonds in Power, recorded live in the Berlin Jazz Festival in 1978. Okay, and here's another reason why you want to pay £80 for this box set. Coffin for Head of State, Bella Kuti's 1980 album. There's only one track. Musically, lyrically, it is fantastic. The album is a tribute to his dead mother, who was killed by the Nigerian army when they attacked his Kalakuta Republic compound. The lyrics tell of the day Bella Kuti deposited a coffin, a symbolic coffin, outside the barracks. President Abasanjo, the man he held responsible for the death of his mother, embarrassing and shaming the Nigerian president. Next album is Army Arrangements. We jump forward five years uh, to 1985. Africa 70 or no more, the backing band is Egypt 80 and the music is as good as ever. There's an amazing organ solo uh, 11 minutes into this on side two. It's just fantastic. And then the last album in this box set, and one of the last albums Fella uh, recorded before he died, 
Underground System from 1992. I just want to reiterate what an amazing job Knitting Factory have done with these remasters. Such close attention to detail, even down to the facsimile labels of the original releases. And great to see Lemmy Garioku's artwork at full size. I absolutely love Erica Badu's choice of fella LPs for this box set. She's chosen quite an off-kilter selection. There are a lot of lo-fi dissonant solos by fella himself. So alongside the hard James Brown type driving funk and tight horns, there's lots of squonky sax solos and some fantastic plonky lo-fi keyboard solos. So all in all, this is just a fantastic box set, visually beautiful, uh, such attention to detail, and the music beautifully remastered, and uh, yeah, just a stunning selection of Fela Kuti music, totally recommended.